This course is distinctive in that it encompasses the theoretical and practical aspects of business in contexts which students will encounter throughout their lives. Conceptually, it offers insight into small business planning through to large scale operations, management, marketing, finance, and human resources. Our aim is to provide students with rigor and depth during their course in order to provide a excellent foundation for lifelong learning and development. Specifically, students will develop general and specific skills, including research, analysis, problem solving, decision making, critical thinking, and communication. My name is Supriya Bansu and I teach business studies here at St. Joseph. Due to the current climate, most of our classes have been held online. We understand this, that this transition has adversely affected most of our students. Therefore, our main aim going forward is to differentiate curriculum, teaching processes and success criteria according to the needs of each and every student. We are going to achieve this with a layered curriculum. A layered curriculum allows us to create additional resources and tasks for students at three levels. The first level is foundational where students have basic knowledge of the subject area. They are able to remember facts and understand what they mean. At the next level, students are able to apply these facts and at the top level, students are able to analyze information and judge its validity. A flipped classroom basically implies that students can access lesson materials online and view them at their own pace. After viewing the lessons, students complete three level of quizzes out of which the foundational and mid-level quizzes are compulsory. This process allows us teachers to then collect data and provide different instructions to students at various levels during their online class. Assessment begins as a diagnostic tool, which allows for students' pre-existing knowledge and understanding to be determined, so that as teachers we are able to focus on areas with which students have a limited understanding. This allows for teachers to contextualise the understanding of students and identify the base levels of subject knowledge to gauge the appropriate strategies needed to be implemented within the classroom, allowing for the effective application of differentiated learning strategies to identify the needs of each individual learner. This will then see the implementation of what's referred to as formative assessment, which provides the basis of classroom activities, focusing on the identification of students' development over the duration of the course. This is an important aspect of the learning strategies implemented within the school, to ensure that students who are excelling are identified and the students who are struggling are known to the teacher to ensure all students are afforded the opportunities to succeed to the best of their abilities and are supported throughout the the traditional means by which this is completed has had to change as a result of moving to online learning methods. Zoom has provided an outlet similar to Skype which allows teachers and students to communicate freely and in an open dialogue. This along with the development of apps like Kahoot over the last few years allows us to identify the understanding of students throughout the duration of online and remote learning without having to physically see the work in which they are completing.
Testing and assessments used to summarise the understanding of students are increasingly important to understand the ongoing process of student learning and engagement. Determining the levels of understanding students have developed over the duration of the course is reliant on identifying the initial understanding to which they had at the beginning. And then at the end of the course, we can identify the content in which they have learnt and see if they have adequately met the expectations of both the learner and the teacher. With so many of St. Joseph's students speaking a language other than English at home, effective differentiation strategies were a particular focal point in this assessment. A video showcasing the school's facilities and student life provides parents and prospective students the opportunity to ascertain if the school meets preliminary expectations. Discussing the course content overview will provide parents and students the initial understanding of what to expect in the business studies course. Our view of interactive formative assessments embracing technology will enable differentiation among students who are working toward, working at and working beyond expectations. Assistive technologies such as translators will enable students to translate, think and work in their home language in order to continue to build their literacy skills as well as achieving the required outcomes. Enabling technologies and gamification assist in student engagement and places the student learning first. The student-centric approach is designed specifically for students and their parents who value and embrace a lifelong learning approach. The eight ways of learning